what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome to another video uh today i'm gonna do another drink video um it's it could be pretty easy uh, like i said i'm not a bartender i'm not a professional drink maker or nothing like that but this is an attempt so i'm gonna give it a try now it is still the holiday season uh still november i believe it's november 20th today we're just a few days away from um thanksgiving time so i'm trying to stay in that little genre right there um today i'm gonna try to make a drink i think they call it an apple cobbler and uh, i actually got this drink idea from uh, from another youtube channel called uh, uh club dirty so uh, that channel is about a guy he's on there he does a bunch of mixed drinks and stuff he has viewers send him ideas and stuff like, like that to do uh different mixed drinks and stuff like that they're pretty easy it's just either two three maybe four tops uh drinks that they mix up and try to make different flavors so that's pretty cool but i got this idea from him and uh, i wanted to give it a try you know it's a it's an apple cobbler drink is what they call it and uh you know that's one of my favorite uh desserts is like apple pie and stuff like that now when you think of, or when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of, you know, apples, I think of uh, pumpkins, sweet potato, cranberry, chocolate, all that kind of stuff, ginger, all that kind of stuff. So today I'm going to be trying to make a kind of a Thanksgiving holiday type drink, like I said, uh, apple cobbler. And it's pretty easy. It's just uh, from what he showed is just half rum chata and half uh Crown Royal Apple. Now, if you've never had Crown Royal Apple or Rum Chata, they're both sweet. Rum Chata is a really kind of dairy uh, tasting drink. And the Apple Crown Royal is uh, similar to a, a sweet uh, Apple Jolly Rancher, I guess you could say. So it's really sweet. I wanted to give it a try. Like I said, I'm excited about it. I really want to try it. And I thought, you know what? Let me go ahead and post it up and try it, me trying it out. So that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, let's see. I got my, I got my Crown Royal Apple here. Or my Apple Crown Royal, however you want to call it. And my Rum Chata. Now, like I said, it's just the uh, same parts, both. Uh, and half and half. So half Crown Royal half rum chata i got my glass of ice and i'm giving it a try i'm just gonna do a shot of each just to kind of uh try it out and if i like it i'll make more later you know what let me do the crown royal first because i like to watch it mix Yeah, I like the way that that tastes. Um, it does taste really good. Um, definitely tastes alcohol, but you know, that's pretty good. You definitely take. You definitely taste the apples. Taste the rum chata. Um, it's creamy. It's apple, appley, I guess you could say. And uh, I mean, it tastes like the holidays. So you get a real thick cream taste from the rum chata, and then you get like an apple, an apple flavor from it, which is basically what it is. So you get everything that you see here. Um, the alcohol, like I said, you can taste the alcohol in it, but. As far as as far as a sweet kind of 
rich flavored drink. This is it. Apple. It tastes more like, you know, when I taste it, I'm going to let y'all know. To me, it tastes more like leftover milk whenever you're done eating a bowl of Apple Jacks and then you drink the leftover milk. That's what that tastes like. So that's what it tastes like. But it's really good. I enjoy it. I'm happy with it. It's really good. If anything, if, if I would change anything about it, I'd probably back off a little bit on the Crown Apple and add a little bit more cream just because I like the, the rum chai. I like that creamy flavor more. But that's just my my flavor, my liking. So my opinion. You know, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do if y'all want to try this out. But like I said, this is an attempt and I like it. It's a success. But that being said, like I said, it's uh, still the Thanksgiving season. And, uh, you know, I'm about to start watching holiday movies and stuff like that. But for Thanksgiving, I have kind of a uh, recommendation for Thanksgiving. Might do a little review right quick on a movie called, uh, that I'm calling the movie of the month for me. is uh, Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. Now, that's old school. I think it was back in uh, 1987, I think it was made. And it's with, um, it's with John Candy and uh, Steve Martin. And, uh, yeah, John Candy and Steve Martin. And uh, John Candy and Steve Martin, they're both comedic legends. I think I think they're both legendary. Um, they're both hilarious. Uh, John Candy, unfortunately, rest in peace. I think he passed away many years ago. Back in the day, I think he passed away like in the mid-90s or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, made of died a little after but if I'm not mistaken I think that's when he passed don't quote me on that though I'm not 100% sure but uh, they're both comedic legends I think and uh, the movie's basically about two guys trying to make a home for Thanksgiving uh, Steve Martin plays a businessman kind of uptight trying to make it back they both live in Chicago and they both try to get a plane to go out there and uh, they kind of cross paths like I said, Steve Martin is a business up to, is a uptight businessman, but uh, John Candy's kind of a loose, more kind of um, I guess you can call him a shady salesman. I think he sells like shower rings for shower curtains or something like that. But he knows how to make money, quick money. But uh, you know, kind of a friendly, kind of goofy, goofball kind of guy. They cross paths. They kind of need each other to kind of make it home. Uh, and stuff like that and uh, they're kind of an odd couple an unlikely couple and uh, they kind of get on each other's nerves and uh, they try to survive the trip home hanging around each other and uh, along the way they run into many bumps many issues and stuff like that so that's basically what the movie's about it's hilarious though I mean it's a I think you can call it a family movie I'm not sure the rating let me see it is rated R but it's mostly because of the profanity in it. They do say some cuss words and stuff like that. But I would still call it a family movie. You gotta, I guess, let your kids know not to repeat none of the stuff they might say. And there's a few F bombs in there. But uh, other than that, it's a great movie. I don't think there's any sexuality or nothing crazy like that. Not a lot of violence or nothing like that. It's a great movie. I think it kind of reminds me of Christmas Vacation or something like that. But like I said, I think it's a great movie. But other than that, yeah, it's uh, Thanksgiving time. Uh, I did uh, I did kind of a meal idea. I did a dessert idea. This is my drink idea. And I think I'm going to do one more for the month of Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to do a little, another little guitar uh, cover. And uh, see how that comes out. So be on the lookout for that if you happen to come across the channel. And stuff like that. But like I said... It's Thanksgiving. I think that this was a successful drink here. I think it tastes great. If you like it, try it out. Like I said, if something doesn't really float your boat about it, tweak it out a little bit. But anyways, like I said, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It's in a few days. You know, enjoy while you can. To make memories and stuff like that. Enjoy the moments that you have with your family, friends, and everybody that you're going to be hanging out with and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, like I said, everybody, you know, try to stay safe, look out for each other, look out for yourselves, and I'll uh, see everybody in the next video.